Welcome to Kidopolis Easter. made it that way. He did something totally crazy, which was rise up from the grave. I've never done that before. And the other thing that was crazy about it was he took our icky sticky sin and he made it all clean. So today we're going to play some games with each other. Well, we're going to play them here and show you how to play them at home. And then you can send us videos or pictures or anything like that of you playing along at home. I hope you guys have so much fun. Let's go. Okay, so today we're going to play some games. The first game that we're going to play is called the Great Egg Giveaway. And what it's going to teach us is that Jesus put us first. And we're going to play a game where we learn to put others first. Let's go see what it is. We're going to play the Great Egg Giveaway today. Unlike most Easter egg hunts, the goal of this game today is to have the least amount of eggs in your basket. So how are we going to do that? We have a couple rules. First of all, you can only take eggs out of your basket, nobody else's. And you can only put them into someone else's basket. You can't put them on the ground or throw them or kick them. Also, you can only grab two eggs at a time. And at the end of the time, which is 60 seconds, um, any eggs that are around your basket will be counted as yours as well. All right, does that make sense? On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> Okay, so this is, he threw one. is whose basket is this? Mine, he threw one in mine. Yeah, that goes in your basket. That was in your hand. You're right. All right, Esme, great job. <laughs> you have two eggs. Two, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. Mommy, How many does Jacob have? <laughs> one, two, a million. <laughs> You lose. This is Colin. Yeah, I have two. <gasps> and that baby has two. Yay, good job. All right, girls. Sit in there and do your victory dance. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? In the game that we played, the person who had the least amount of eggs in their basket, also the person who was giving the most eggs away, was the winner. Just like Jesus, they made sure that others had more than them. Of course, in this game, they won a game, so they had that to win. But in real life, when you give other people as much as you can and you put others before yourself, you're going to win. I bet you didn't know that Jesus and Jelly Beans have a lot more in common other than the first letter in their name and the fact that they're sweet. I'm about to read you a poem with a fun game that you can play along with at home that tells you what you can learn about Jesus from these yummy jelly beans. Okay, next we're gonna play a jelly bean toss game. If you've ever done a jelly bean toss before or any kind of toss, it's probably a little different than this one. As we're tossing the jelly beans from our cups into our basket, I am gonna be reading a poem out loud. You have to find the right color jelly bean in your cup to toss in the basket at the right time. At the end of the poem, the person who has the most jelly beans in their basket and who followed the rules the whole time with the right color at the right time wins. It's pretty easy, right? All right, let's go. Okay, here we go. Red is for the blood he gave. Green. 
mean is for the palms they waved. Yellow is for the sun with an O. So bright. Orange is for the edge of night. Black is for the sins we made. White is for the grace he gave. Purple is for his hour of sorrow. Pink is for our new tomorrow. All right, let's see how everybody did in Phoebe's bucket. Three, great job, Phoebe. Esme's bucket, four, good job, Esme. Jacob's bucket, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many were there? There were eight. <laughs> Eight, close enough. Good job, guys. All right, we need to do a victory dance for you. So you need to stand there and do your victory dance. This game is gonna be totally upside down, and I do mean literally. My girls, Esme and Phoebe, are gonna hang upside down from our couch and write the key point of Easter, which is he is risen, while they are hanging upside down. Let's see if you can do it at home and send us your pictures. Get set, go. Thanks guys for playing along today. Raise your hand if you had fun. I can't see you. So how about you send some pictures and videos to let me know that you had fun today with your Kidopolis Upside Down Easter. Don't forget that we still have our memory verse. And if you do your memory verse and your parents send a video of you doing it to me via email or on Facebook Messenger or any old way that they want, you will get a porch treat dropped off to you. I'll go over it one more time. Don't do anything only to get ahead. Don't do it because you are proud. Instead, be humble, value others, more than yourselves. Philippians 2, 3. Thanks guys, don't forget about this memory verse and don't forget that right after this, we have the sew and so show for you. Have fun and happy Easter. Hey John, I've got a question. What is it, Brandon? No, no, I'm asking the question. Fine, say the question. Why do we paint Easter eggs? Because it's easier than wallpapering them. Oh! <laughs> hey, did you hear the one about the lady whose house was infested with Easter eggs? I did, but she's fine now. You don't say. Yeah, she called an exterminator. <laughs> ah! Exterminator! <laughs> Hey, that reminds me, how does the Easter Bunny stay so healthy? I'm guessing a steady diet of fresh greens and vegetables. That and exercise. <laughs> hey, speaking of the Easter Bunny, do you know how much he gets for every basket he makes? How much? Two points like everyone else. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. I think we're going to have to stop doing this pretty soon. Why, because the yolks are so bad? <laughs> Uh, no, I, 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 I'm getting dizzy. I'm, I, we're upside down. Oh. Uh, <sighs> I need air. <sighs> I need air. <sighs> I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta wipe off my glasses. <laughs> okay. Welcome to the so-and-so show. Happy Easter!
I thought we were gonna say that together. I'm so sorry, I just got excited. I, I understand, like it is very exciting. Yo! <laughs> Anywho, we're excited because it's time for our annual Easter egg hunt. John and Brandon's annual Easter egg hunt. That's what I said. Every year, we hide one Easter egg somewhere in the world for someone to find. Mm -hmm. Seems impossible, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, it is. No one has ever found the egg we've hidden. So this year, we tried to find someone so cunning, mm. so clever, mm. and so gifted at locating hidden objects, there was no chance they would fail. So please welcome someone who finds stuff. Greetings and saturations! I think you mean salutations. No, I wish. I'm sweating like a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. <laughs> it's hotter than the sun out here. Uh, why don't you tell everyone who you are? Oh, uh, my name is Leonard Fortescue, and I am a professional metal detectorist. But presently, I am a professional egg hunter. Oh, did you did you solve our last clue, Leonard? Oh, well, let's see here. <clears throat> <clears throat> We're four-sided and stand very tall, perched in sand with no water at all. The tallest of us has been called great. Most think there's three, but there's really closer to 80 thereabouts. Kind of loses the rhyme a bit at the end. Poetry is hard. Yeah. What do you think, Leonard? Where are you now? Well, Four-sided, tall buildings in the sand? <laughs> I mean, where else would I be? <laughs> All right, yes, well done, Leonard. Did you find our next clue? <laughs> you bet your gumdrops I did. <laughs> Old Camilla here, <laughs> she found it buried in the sand right over there, hang on. <clears throat> I share a name with this very day. If you hope to find me, I'm far out of the way. I sit all alone in a watery bed. I have no body, so look for the part of the body that typically sits on top. Why not just say the head? They didn't want to make it too easy. It's the world's biggest head of lettuce. <laughs> or maybe a giant wheel of head cheese. That's delicious. I don't think it's pretty straightforward. I, oh, and you better hurry. Your time's almost up. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet petunias. I got to get out of here. Uh, once I find my camel, hey, Billy Bob! Right, this could take a while. I agree completely. Mm -hmm. That's why we're gonna play a little game I call Egg Smash. In front of us is a basket of a dozen beautifully dyed Easter eggs. We will each take turns smashing an egg on our own heads. How is this a game? It's a game of chance, my friend. Nine of these eggs are filled with confetti. The other three, are raw. Oh. The first person to crack two raw eggs on their head loses. You got it? I got it. After you. Thanks so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Four. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Ow. Confetti and pain. Woo. Your Man. turn. Oh, great. What do you got? What do you got? Oh! oh! It's a party! Here's Here's a party. Good. Oh, hey! Oh. Nice. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> there we go. Red. Ooh. Whoa! What? I'm getting nervous. There's three yolks here. I know. <laughs> three and three and seven. What's it gonna be? Go. Okay. Yeah. Oh! I think that's a strike one. How's that, is, that feel? That's great. That's all, right, great. all right. Here we go. My turn. <laughs> Oh! oh. <laughs> right, here we go. Ready? Here we go. Oh! <laughs> I think we have a winner. It's me. Boom! <laughs> I'm getting closer to your egg. I can almost taste it. I can taste it. I figured it out. I'm on Easter Island. <laughs> Look at that big head. Reminds me of my mama. You got there fast. Thank you. I did have a little problem in customs. They apparently don't like you to bring camels onto the island for some reason. Why did you bring... You know what, never mind. Did, did you find the last clue? Does a one-legged duck swim in a circle? <laughs> <Okay. clears throat> 
The last place to go is where you already know. Two sit here on their keister. Hurry up so we can celebrate Resurrection Day together. You've got egg on your face. Huh. <laughs> oh! Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> this is the oldest trick in the treasure hunting book. <laughs> Watch out, egg. I'm coming for you. <laughs> uh, that way. <laughs> it's Bible story time with Kellen. Happy Easter, guys. Happy, Happy Easter, Easter, Kellen. Today we're talking about the most amazing moment in history. Want to help me out? Yeah. You bet. Then bring on out the sound jars. Whoa. These jars contain sounds that will help tell the story. All you have to do is open the right jar at the right time. You think you can handle that? <laughs> yeah. Does this answer your question? <laughs> no, it does not. We're ready, Kellen. Perfect. Then here it is, the story of Easter. Jesus was the son of God. Jesus first came on the scene as a baby, born in Bethlehem. <laughs> Jesus grew up. He grew wiser and stronger. Now, as a man, he devoted his life to teaching and serving people. They came in droves to hear his words and see his miracles. Ooh. But ah. even though Jesus had done nothing wrong, many of the religious leaders wanted to get rid of him, so they had Jesus arrested. They tied him up, and he was taken to the high priest. Two of Jesus' disciples, Peter and John, followed at a distance, trying not to draw attention to themselves. But someone recognized Peter. You aren't one of Jesus' disciples, are you? Me? No, not me. Then someone else thought they recognized Peter. Aren't you one of Jesus' followers? No, you're mistaken. And then a third person. Haven't you been with Jesus? I'm telling you for the last time, I don't know him. Later, Jesus was taken to the Roman governor, Pilate, who decided, I, I find no basis for any charge against the man. But the religious leaders stirred up the angry crowd. Fearing a riot, Pilate handed Jesus over to the soldiers. They forced Jesus to drag the heavy beams of a wooden cross to the place where he would be crucified, the place called Golgotha, or the skull. There, they nailed Jesus to the cross. They raised the cross up, and Jesus hung there until he died. It is finished. That evening, Jesus' body was taken down from the cross and put into a cave-like tomb. A heavy, large stone was rolled over to block the entrance. It seemed like the end. All hope was lost. But the story wasn't over yet. Early Sunday morning, when it was still dark, a woman named Mary Magdalene came to the tomb. What she saw astonished her. That large, heavy stone that had blocked the tomb's entrance had been rolled away and Jesus' body was nowhere to be found. So Mary ran. She ran to tell Peter and John what she had discovered. They have taken the Lord out of the tomb. Now it was their turn to run. They ran straight to the tomb, and Mary was right. The cloth used to wrap Jesus' body was still there, but Jesus, well, he was gone. They didn't understand what was happening, so they went back to where they were staying and left Mary there alone. She stood there and cried. But she had to see for herself one more time. So she peeked into the tomb and she saw two angels sitting where Jesus' body had been. They said, Why, Why are you crying? crying? They have taken my Lord away. I don't know where they have put him. Mary turned to find a man behind her. She thought it was the gardener. Sir, did you carry him away? Tell me where you put him, then I will go and get him. Mary. When he said her name, Mary recognized the man, 
It was Jesus. He was alive. Go to those who believe in me. Tell them I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary ran to deliver the news. I have seen the Lord. Jesus, God's son, died on a cross. Not because he had no choice. He chose to sacrifice himself to pay for our sins. He put us first in the most ultimate way. And on the third day, Jesus came back to life, proving that God is more powerful than death itself. And that is the story of Easter. Wow, I never get tired of hearing that story. Thanks, Kellen. And I never get tired of talking about the lengths God will go to to show how much he loves us. Happy Easter, Kellen. Happy Easter to you guys. Happy Easter, Brandon. Happy Easter, John. Yeah. Hey, reveal, reveal the question. question. Hey, what does Easter mean to you? Yeah. What do you love about Easter? How does it make you feel when you think about it? Talk about it together, and we'll see you next time. Wait, 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 wait. What about Leonard? Shouldn't we check in to see if he's found the hidden egg? Oh, yeah, I forgot about him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he'll find it. That's uh, what, it's yeah. what he does, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's all for the So-and-So Show. Happy, Happy Easter! Easter! Here, Norwegian bunny's eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna go make me an orange omelet. <laughs> oh, I got my egg. I hope you enjoyed the so and so show. I know that I always do. Those guys are so funny. All right. So don't forget today's key lesson, key point for the month of April is humility is putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. And remember what Jesus deserved was everything in the world, everything amazing and good. And what he got was dying for our sins. So let's try and live like Jesus, okay? Let's try and do good for others before they even ask. Let's put others before ourselves always. And let me know also always how we can pray for you. We want to hear from you. We miss you so much.